So like, my big thing is that in today's day and age, promiscuity is, is the norm. So you have to, especially here in California, you have to anticipate when you're going on the first date with a girl, or even when you eventually, whether you hook up on the first date, the second date, the third date, you have to go in assuming that she's sleeping with another guy. So to me, that would be, first off, I don't want to do anything with a girl. I don't even want to date a girl that's fucking another guy. Don't talk to me if you're, I, I, if you're fucking someone else. Fine, if you wanna be sleeping around, go for it. Don't even talk to me if you're fucking another dude. Um, that sounded scary. Um, <laughs> it's valid, it's valid. It's, no, it's just like, I don't wanna date someone, I don't wanna kiss someone, I don't wanna cuddle, I don't wanna, well, I don't go down, but uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't. I don't wanna have sex with someone who is sleeping with someone else. A lot of these guys in the space say, well, if she's kind of promiscuous, recreational use only. No, she is no use. On, like, you don't, you don't even pursue a girl that's fucking another guy. I don't care if it's your first date. If she's fucking another guy, I have no interest. So the dating meta as it is, you basically have to assume that going in that she's sleeping with someone else. So for that reason, I don't want to go down on a girl because it's the thought of she fucked a dude last night without a rubber, he came inside her and then I'm going to go down on her. Fuck that. And that is dating in 2023. So that's one of the chief reasons why I don't do it. And, we, and I want to make something clear. I don't have a double standard, uh, double standard on this. Women can be equally disgusted at the thought of dating, hooking up with, performing fellatio on a man that fucked a chick yesterday Agreed. that could be repulsive and i think for a lot of women it is if yeah. if you put it if you articulate it in that way so to me it's just and look i i've been on dates with girls who and it doesn't i don't opt for a second date i've been on dates with girls where they tell me like hey i was on two dates this weekend i've got three dates scheduled and I'm like, cool, but like, find somebody else, you know? And, and here's, the, here's the worst part. Like, you can even have an upfront, overt conversation about this. Be like, hey, are you seeing other people? They could still lie. Even if they tell you, hey, I'm not, I'm just talking to you. A lot of girls might not want to risk losing you by being honest and be like, yeah, I fucked someone yesterday. Men are going to do the same thing too. <laughs> They're not going to be like, yeah, I just fucked someone earlier <laughs> this afternoon. You know, they're not going to say that. Because, mo- I mean, maybe if they're real fucking Gs, they might say it. But um, they realize, like, mm, probably going to, like, lose the girl if I'm telling her I just fucked some other chick. So that's why I don't do it. Because I'm trying to protect myself here. I see your point. I understand. Yeah. I mean, look. Would you wait? I do have a question, though. Would you have like a problem if like a girl didn't want to go down on you? Um, it's not a, like, honestly, it's not a big deal. Okay. To be, I mean, head's great, but um, it's kind of a, a slight bummer, but it's not a deal breaker. And I respect that. But it would be. But I would sort of view it like if it was a vindictive thing, like if she wanted it from a. She otherwise does give head, but then doesn't because I don't, I personally d- dislike it. I, again, not a deal breaker. I would understand to a degree, but I think when it comes to sex, there's some things that your partner likes that maybe you don't. And instead of saying, well, because you don't like that, I'm not going to do this in as a sort of almost revenge in some sort of way. I, I think that's kind of a weird framework. But if a girl genuinely didn't like giving head, like a little bit of a bummer, but like not a deal breaker, I don't really care. And like you said, there's more important things when it comes to relationships than than sex, so. If you were in a committed relationship and she obviously got STD tested and you knew she was completely clean, would that change it for you? Or you, do you still just, you're just like, no, I don't really enjoy it. It's not really for me. Is she on birth control? She could be if that was a deal breaker for you, if that would make you want to. Yeah, if not. Let's say yes. We'll say yes. She's on birth control. 
Well, here's the here's the secondary problem: is if we're having sex, <laughs> and the, I'm just blasting. <laughs> what? what? You're, You're what? just blasting. It's your, you're what? what did you say? Huh? Blasting. If I'm coming inside her, okay. Oh, yeah. Then I, then I'm like that. So it's like. <laughs> There's kind of no winning, I suppose. Well, if you did it before that, though. I hope you enjoy my honesty at the least, but what's No, that? I do. So if you did it before you came inside her. It lingers. Hmm. You know, it lingers. It, it doesn't linger for days. Uh, eh. And the, I think it changes the pH balance a little bit. Well, then it actually lasts up to two weeks, I'm pretty sure. Like it's in your system <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> 